Neem is a, a community, a way to organize people around coming to agreement on, on common standards for sharing information. Uh, Neem is a, a common model right, that's federated across different, uh, different communities, a Rosetta Stone, so that when two people talk to each other, they can assemble a, a sentence, a paragraph, a document based on common words that they both understand what those words mean. When I think about Neem, I think about the community of people involved in making it a reality. The developers, the executives, the Neem PMO, the, the, the working people at the federal, state, and local levels that have made it their mantra to make information sharing a reality and their involvement in it. And uh, it's been a tremendous collaboration effort the likes of which we've never seen. The technology is great, but it really is about people and letting technology be that enabler that allows um, people to um, meet their information sharing needs. The culture in, in many agencies, federal, state, or local, was the focused on the, the need to know. And we've been trying over the last couple of decades to change that mantra to the need to share. This was the way to go. This was the future and this could really bring them together. So I was really looking for a synergy to, to deliver on that promise of real information sharing. Well I think the Neem idea really developed over a period of years, perhaps even decades, as people realized how important it was to build a way to share information across disciplines throughout the public safety, justice, and homeland security world. Doing Neem was critical to uh, improving the mission of the Department of Justice. Uh, core initiatives like the National Data Exchange or suspicious activity reporting that uh, are driven out of the Department of Justice come out of Van's vision for Neem as a, uh, a framework for doing a, um, information sharing. The direction on information sharing from the 9-11 Commission Report absolutely drove the mission focus. And it really was born from the field. We had three organizations that we worked with and they both had independent XML activities. And at an early meeting they said, could you help sponsor a meeting where we can work together? And that was the birth of what led to me. Right away when you're having CIOs of ICE and uh, Customs and Border Patrol turn to you and say, this is really good. You know you're on the right concept. Well, you, you can't tell the story of Neem without starting with Van Hitch. Mike DeCana and Jim Fakins. Rick Brown. Shamindra Paul. Clark Smith. Martin Smith. Pat McCreary. Merv Levitt. Tom Clark. Lee Holcomb. Paul Embley. Uh, Tarazia Martin and Rich Russell. Paul Wormelli. Jeremy Warren. Boris Schur. Steve Cooper, Tom O'Reilly. So those early people, I mean, without them, it wouldn't have gone anywhere. The best ambassadors of Neem aren't here in Washington. They're out there in the field. The folks that are using Neem every day to drive value for the American people through sharing of information. What we've been able to do with the Neem process is really partner with industry in a, in a sincere and deep way. They've been involved in the technical architecture work, the business architecture work from day, day one, and, and has had several tremendous benefits. So by having industry realize the power of Neem and then endorse it and pledge that they'll build products that meet the specifications of Neem, that's a huge win, huge win. There's been some other really good uh, uses of Neem that are have allowed us to do things we never thought possible. Amber Alerts, a great example. You know, the, the kids go missing, it's a terrible thing, we see it all the time. Through the Amber Alert process, uh, the Bureau of Justice Assistance working with uh, state and local law enforcement, I believe about uh, 530 plus or minus kids have been retrieved, they've been saved because of Amber Alerts. It's a stunning success story. And one application even allows um, and the public to check on the status of offenders. Um, but one of my favorite ones is that New York City created an application so that parents could go online and check and receive their children's school uh, lunch voucher program. Um, unexpected, but a great story.
Neem is on a, on a tremendous growth path. It's hard to predict what the future is gonna, gonna, gonna entail. It's like the Neem story. Neem can be messy. The Neem processes are not always linear, but that's because they're community-based. That's our strength. The community finds a way to solve the problems that they share. So I see that we're gonna be doing more of that and scaling it up. In the public sector, we're united by a desire to improve uh, service delivery to citizens. We have that in the United States between federal, state, local, tribal, and the public sector. And frankly, when I talk to my peers overseas, they share that mission. And, and that gives us a, a common framework in which to share, share best practices like NEMA to grow them and to mature them. So it supports improved information sharing, which supports improved decision making, which supports better government and a more and a safer America in the end. It really comes back to that core challenge. That was the challenge on day one. And, and the biggest challenge we have now is, as we grow and scale Neem, is maintaining that sense of community and connectedness that's made Neem such a special contribution to, uh, to information sharing.